souvenir for you. If you're doing close-up magic and you rip up a playing card and you put it back together, your spectators naturally want to look at that playing card. Well, it's no different on stage. If you rip up a newspaper, no matter how flashy or beautiful your restoration is, at the end, in your spectator's heart of hearts, they would like to look at that piece. If you can hand that piece of paper directly out to the audience, you're gonna deepen the mystery. With John Graham's Examiner, that's exactly what you do. All I wanted your initials for were write them on the newspaper and them. Just so that it'll be something that you'll say, wow, that really is the very same sheet of newspaper throughout the entire edition. And I saw myself holding newspaper in two different hands at the same time. Not just on the outside, but also on the inside. Wow. Which means this newspaper hasn't been torn once, twice, three, or four times. It's never been torn at all. It was just an illusion. Wow! <laughs> Check that again, exactly as it was just a moment ago, right? Your initials are still in, tap. Puzzles are still there. In fact, you guys are celebrating something very special. I'd like you to take the mark. Write today's date on the newspaper. Just to be crystal clear, the examiner can be done with a regular, unprepared sheet of newspaper. It resets in about 30 seconds. There's no glues, there's no magnets, there's no wires. As soon as you put those pieces back together, you hand them directly to somebody in the audience. For an astonishing bonus, John Graham walks you through an alternate handling of the examiner where you can hand out the sheet of newspaper to be examined at the beginning and at the end. Check out the newspaper, if you would. Make sure there's nothing funny about it or phony about it. 